morning everyone welcome back a beautiful monday for us to live a victorious life in jesus christ let's read from romans chapter 1 verse 18 through 23 once again for the wrath of god is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth for what can be known about god is plain to them because god has shown it to them for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. For although they knew God, they did not honor him as God or give him thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchange the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man, birds and animals, and creeping things. When people refuse to acknowledge the immortal God, this creator God, this amazing God that we worship and we honor, when people refuse to worship God, what happens? What happens when people stop worshiping God? What actually happens is that they don't they don't stop worshiping, uh, worshiping. In fact, they start worshiping something else because the Bible tells us we're created to worship. We are purposeful people, and when we don't worship God, we find another object of worship that is outside of God. So we must worship something. Tim Keller writes. There has to be something which captures our imagination and our allegiance, which is the resting place of our deepest hopes and which we look to to calm our deepest fears. Whatever that thing is, we worship it and we serve it, becomes our bottom line. The thing we cannot live without defining and validating everything we do. When that which he's talking about is not God, then we will replace it with maybe a family, maybe job, power, maybe, you know, whatever that is. Collecting toys, cars, vacations, leisures, money in the bank. God said such behavior to exchange the immortal God for images that people make of themselves or creeping things. Isaiah says, why do you guys make idols that has eyes that cannot see and ears that cannot hear and hands that can't reach out to you? God says, when such behavior happens, namely they knew God, but they did not acknowledge him and worship him. There are a couple of results that takes place. First result is that their mind is broken. When we stop worshiping God and start worshiping something other than God to validate who we are and what we do and, and, our, and, to, and to alleviate our deepest fears, our minds get broken. When people are saying there, there, there are hundred genders, our mind is broken. That's insanity. And these are not talked about and written about by people who are, you know, not educated. These are people who are at the top of our university saying there are over a hundred genders, not just male and female, but over a hundred of them. And, and I, that's insanity. What can you say other than that? In our country, uh, we don't have a dialogue anymore. Two people with opposing views cannot sit down and have a discussion. Now, if you don't agree with me, one side will slander you and ruin you. And again, these are not done by people who are uneducated. These are done by people at the highest of our education system. It's insanity. I remember one time I went to Disneyland with my family and there was a shirt that I really liked. So I bought it for one of my sons. It had a very cartoonish Disney-esque looking stormtrooper from Star Wars. And he had a kind of sort of like a water gun looking gun in his hand. And out of the front barrel came out this little stick with a flag that says pew and it was gray color and and he took it to, he wore it to school when he was in junior high and the administration told him you can't do that you can't wear a shirt that says pew on it insanity we allow marijuana but you can't wear a t-shirt 
When we stop worshiping God, we simply become insane. People are trading their family for their job. People are cheating with prostitutes when they have a wife at home and kids at home. They're willing to put all their reputation on That's insanity. Our minds get broken. The second result of not worshiping God and honoring and giving thanks and giving worth in our life to the Creator and the immortal God is that our hearts are darkened. Just look around the amount of darkness around you. Just in the last few weeks, the mass shooting in Atlanta where eight people were just killed senselessly. And then the, the Colorado shooting with 10 people. And those are just the ones that are reported because, because it's, a big, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tragedy in a bigger scale. But around the, not only our country, but around the world, there's so much violence and hate and cheating and hurting of other people. Just open up your newspaper today and you'll see all these things taking place where the, where the corporations are taking advantage of the workers and where the workers are taking advantage of their bosses and, and where there is shooting and there's killing and violence all over. Most of our movies are built upon violence. Our hearts are dark, darkened. Don't you think it's time to go back to God? Time to go back to Him and give Him worship and honor? How are you going to break free from this insanity and darkened heart? Paul says, I'm excited to reveal to you the answer. And that answer is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus who came and died on the cross, which this week we will witness. This is the week that Jesus will take the cross to Golgotha or Golgotha to die for the sins of the world. So that we can be free from this insanity and the darkened heart. And he rose from the dead so that when we die, we have hope that he will also raise us from the dead and live with him eternally in his kingdom. That's good news. In a world full of bad news, I just want to share you with you the best good news for all humanity. May the Lord bless you and strengthen you. And if our hearts and minds have veered off from God, then may God realign you today for his glorious name and for the glory of his son, Jesus Christ. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.